So, the first chapter, the chemical world. Um, the, the author starts out talking about soda pop fizz. <coughs> so, do you ever call it soda pop? No. It, just, it sounds kind of dumb, doesn't it? Now, I grew up in the upper Midwest, in Minnesota and Iowa, and we called it pop. What kind of pop do you have? Well, Coke and Diet Coke and Sprite, right? It was pop. And then I, um, I went to graduate school in Indiana and North Carolina, and everyone called it soda. And I moved to California, and people call it soda. And so now pop sounds funny to me. And I don't know if the author was like trying to cover everything. He calls it soda pop. So we're going to ignore the word pop and just talk about soda. We're all familiar with soda. Uh, soda is composed of very tiny particles. Everything's composed of very tiny particles. These tiny particles are called atoms. If you have a single drop of soda, which is not a lot, that's going to have about one billion trillion atoms in it. So that should give you an idea of how incredibly small atoms are. Now, a molecule is just a group of atoms that are bonded together. And so here's an illustration of a water molecule. A water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, and they're stuck together. And we'll learn more about how they're stuck together. But if you want to visualize them as little teeny tiny marbles that are super glued together, that, that works. I'm big into visualizing things. So. An important concept is that all matter is composed of atoms and molecules. If we take any piece of matter and divide it down smaller and smaller and smaller, the smallest particle you'll get to is an atom. In soda, we have a mixture of different kinds of molecules. There's carbon dioxide, which is what makes it fizzy. And of course, there's water molecules as well. And then there are other substances in there too, um, sugar and coloring and flavors. And all these different molecules together make up soda. And so here in this illustration, there, here is a model of a water molecule, and here's a model of a CO2 molecule. And if we were able to zoom in and look at those particles, well, that would be really cool. Um, but we would see something like this. We would see all these different kinds of particles, and they're all mixed together in the soda. So let's look at these two different molecules. Here's carbon dioxide. It has three atoms, and water has three atoms. This is one carbon and two oxygens. This is one oxygen and two hydrogens. And so in some ways, these are similar in structure. Right? But these atoms are stuck together in a straight line, and these atoms are in a bent configuration. And we'll, we'll learn about why that is, why the water is not straight. Now, carbon dioxide, you probably know, is a gas at room temperature, right? When you exhale, there's a certain amount of carbon dioxide in your breath because you breathe in oxygen and your body does stuff with it. It's called biochemistry. And then you exhale carbon dioxide. And plants do the opposite. They take in carbon dioxide and they give off oxygen, which is kind of cool. We sort of help each other out that way. Water is a liquid at room temperature, right? So already we can see that these two substances have very different properties. Right? Even though if we look at the models of them, they look pretty similar. So the reason that your soda is fizzy is that if we apply pressure, we can force the carbon dioxide gas into the soda. Soda is mostly water, right? It's got a little bit of sugar, a little bit of flavor and stuff, but it's mostly water. So you've probably noticed that cans of soda, bottles of soda, they're all pressurized, right? You open the can of soda and you hear this pssst, and that's the excess pressure of the carbon dioxide coming out. And 
if you open a two liter bottle of soda, you can see this happening. You open the bottle and what do you see? You see bubbles start to come up. That's the carbon dioxide that begins to leave the soda. What happens if you leave that bottle of soda sitting there for two weeks with the lid off? It's going to be flat, right? We say it's flat because all the carbon dioxide has come out. And the carbon dioxide is what gives you that fizzy uh, sensation when you drink it. So the carbon dioxide is coming out of the water, and that's what's making the bubbles.